energy vibration um, reading for the Capricorn Sun Moon and Rising Sign I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful like shares and surprise okay alrighty you Capricorns <laughs> obviously you Capricorns have me on the go that a beautiful reading for, for you guys I guess the angels and guides wanted something else. So here we go. Um, this year is a wonderful year for you Capricorns. Whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, um, it's going to be wonderful. Um, there's positive energies in this year, so be aware of that. Um, I want to say thank you so much for your likes, shares, and support. Thank you for the wonderful um, support you have been giving me I love you Capricorn so much um, happy birthday happy belated birthday um, this year looks um, much better than last year and um, there's just going to be wonderful excitement um, December 2019 is going to be so powerful um, you have the balance of this wonderful energy that comes in for you with the Hermit so your spirit guides are going to be really working in this year i want to um say please um download the um on demand because they are uh, this reading is going to be an hour long 30 minutes is going to be on youtube and the rest you can find um on um the rest you can find over love and money and that sort of a thing you can find that on um on demand okay Oh. sorry guys I love my coffee so much so what is happening for the Capricorns um, there is going to be changes coming up for you Capricorns um, there's gonna be a lot of changes the first quarter is all out so whatever is transpiring whatever is happening the first quarter is all out so be aware of that um, that the first quarter is out and um, with the energy that is coming up in the first quarter you're going to be aligned in with like positive positive energies okay so check it out um, you have the energy of the star in January so that is going to be good and for a birthday reading please um, connect with us because you get a deep birthday reading of everything that is coming up in the months and it's going to be very very wonderful and very very positive the alignment of energies are so positive and so good the steep positive energies and you can find this um, in the year now the star with the wheel of fortune um, is very very promising okay so the, that is so good now there are wonderful energies the energy of the devil is here but not to worry about that we're going to be looking and seeing what is going to be happening and what is going to be transpiring this year is a water year with energy of the helping of uh, um, the eye princess judgment and uh, the sun and the sun turns in the wheel of fortune so there is just so much positive energies and you have the sun and the wheel of fortune um, the eye princess is out but and the judgment but this year is going to be um, really a change of guard so whatever the situation is whatever that is transpiring you're going to be seeing wonderful positive energies that is coming in okay please go pick up um, the quartal reading and please um, it's just a dollar ninety nine um, I will just um, also put it here to let people know that it's just a dollar ninety nine um, continue to watch the monthly because the energy vibrations are totally different um, it's not a, um, a card reading it is a channel and it's an energy vibration reading everyone is speaking about energy now but this is the energy vibration reading okay so let's go ahead um, 
any messages for the Capricorn this year is going to be a year where you're going to be focusing on yourself focusing on um, mostly on your work and uh, your study whatever you're doing it's going to be a change of guard there's a lot of things that is going to be coming in for the Capricorns I'm seeing a lot of Capricorns changing location buying new houses um, a lot of Capricorn are more in themselves more connecting with the spiritual side of themselves a lot of Capricorn are cutting the BS out of their lives and they're just saying hey um, this is me I know what I want and I know how to choose what I want in my life and this is going to be aligning a lot of you Capricorns to balance out the material world it's gonna be a feminine year so a lot of Capricorns are going to start to speak up they're started gonna to start to communicate they're gonna to start to say exactly how they feel so let's see what has happened um, so what do we have for January we have the energy of the star remember the energy of the star is giving hope. It's, it's making you feel full of hope, hope, hope. You know, and this is very, very positive. This is good because what is transpiring, what is happening is that you have a lot of hope. The, um, your angels and guides are coming in in January and uh, helping you to understand and uh, um, pushing you forward in a very positive way and giving you a lot of hope and admiration, understanding. Of who you are so this is going to be good because the energy of the star is coming up with an energy vibration of judgment um, in the general readings because in the general readings we have the energy of judgment coming up in January so the energy of judgment with the star is very positive um, so expect to have some positive news or positive situations happening to you in January okay very positive very positive very good very positive situation happening in January now this moon is the moon of the shadow and this is coming up in February for you Capricorns now the energy of the eye princess is the general energies in the month of February and what is transpiring is that this moon is going to be aligning you um, with your spirit guides and you're going to be connecting with the unseen world so call upon your angels and guides and the spirit guides to come in and align you with real positive energies and this is going to be moving you in spiritually but also mentally to a higher um, frequency and higher energy vibration for yourself okay as we look at the month of March another wonderful month for you Pisces the wheel of fortune and the Empress is here this is going to be wonderful please check out the um, first quarter reading because this is going to give you a lot of information that is going to help you to move forward this is really wonderful um, this means um, expect extra money extra um, financial stability coming in in the month of March and this is going to be very good very positive a unique time for you guys okay so this is it's going to be so good it is your own um, energy vibration the energy of the Empress that is coming in then um, in the month of April wonderful month um, the world is here which is your energy vibration April March and April is going to be very very positive because what is transpiring in April is that it's as if the wheel of fortune is going to be bringing you a lot of abundance so something is going to be ended in your life and something new a new part a new doorway is going to be opening up and this is going to be opening up in a very very positive way whatever the situation that is taking place whatever that is transpiring it's going to be wonderful it's going to be good open up to new positive energies that is about to align you in your life okay in the month of uh, um, May you have the energy of uh, justice you have the energy of justice and this energy of justice comes up in in May the 11 uh, 11 is not justice it is strength okay the 11th and this deck is not justice it is strength okay so um, it's it's aligned with you dealing with an organization whatever is transpiring you're dealing with an organization and you're going to be making things right so this is going to be good whatever the situation is whatever the conflicts is you're going to be bringing balance to this conflicts and it's going to be good now the month of June it is uh, um, an earth and uh, you have earth and fire 
month of June is earth and fire now the earth energy comes in as the sister sign of the Virgos and this is going to be bringing balance to deal with people who are ego based okay people who are um, performally ego based so you're going to be understanding how to deal with these people in the month of June because um, you're dealing with ego based people and you're going to be ending a situation with these people and you're going to be moving forward okay so this is good um, so June is earth and fire so as we look back at the um, second quarter it's very wonderful because you have two earth energies that is coming in and now I'm understanding because um, sometimes I did this reading last night and uh, and then I looked at my computer and it wasn't there which is just totally ridiculous it was a very um, powerful reading but it was more of uh, information was given about someone else in the reading so I don't know if that is going to come up so I had to redo the readings and I hate redoing readings but um, for whatever re re um, reason it is I had to redo the reading and now I'm understanding and I'm seeing why and why I had to redo the reading but in the third quarter the second quarter is going to be good because whatever you have to deal with, with an organization is as if um, you because the, the general energy of June is hurt you're going to be able to balance out and dealing with these lower energy people ego based people as we look at the third quarter it's a wonderful quarter you're going in you're moving away from a situation and you're going in this third quarter July August and September in a positive note okay in September you're going to be having a new start which didn't change this quarter basically didn't change it is the same second quarter third quarter didn't change it is the same so the first second and third quarter from the, the first reading that I did didn't change the last quarter is the one that changed but powerful energies is coming in and I understand and I will explain to you why they changed the reading it's because as we move in um, July July has the energy of uh, um, the Sun now the Sun is always uh, positive energies you feeling alive you are being successful in what you're doing and the energy that you have as a Capricorn is the energy of uh, um, moving with success forward really moving with success forward the number seven so what is transpiring is that you're going to be successfully moving forward in the month of July moving to something much better some some more peaceful waters that it will be coming up for you guys and you're changing guards in the year because now you're starting the second half of the year which is beautiful and you're starting it with the energy of the Sun and the chariot so whatever that you have been dealing with in the first half of the year you're changing guards and you're shifting energies and you're shifting the situations around you which is very good and you're moving with a powerful energy vibration forward as of the second half of the year 2019 so that's as good in August um, in August we have the energy of a new start now this is powerful in August this new start you carry the energy vibration of the Sun and what is going to be happening and transpiring is that the energy of the Sun is going to be very wonderful and very supportive to you with this new start in the month of August so be open and aware that positive things new doors of opportunities are going to be opening up unbelievable time and situation is going to be happening new positive energy vibrations are going to be coming in because the energy of the Sun is going to propel you and help you with this new start that is going to be coming in and um, and, and making you be aware and alive again and um, taking um, life in a positive stride forward in a good way as we move forward we have the energy vibration of the month of September September carries the energy of the star which you begin with in the month of January now you guys have a new start in September so what this is saying to you with this brand new start that you're about to 
um, transiting is that life is about to show you something unbelievable and so beautiful which is going to be moving you in a positive positive way forward and in a wonderful structured way where you are going to be aligning yourself with wonderful situations in your life so whatever the situation is that you have been dealing with you're going to be moving forward and this new start your angels and guides are going to be there to protect you on your way forward you're going to be receiving help from the universe protecting you in this new beginning and this new start okay so this is just beautiful and wonderful now the change of the guard um, it was one um, energies that has changed and it is the month of October okay one energies it is so strange um, because I was like uh, I hate doing this and um, and then they aligned to me with the proper or with what they wanted to come out now in October the energy of the tower is in the general energy so you have the wheel of fortune which is so very strange because the wheel of fortune did not come out in the first reading and the wheel of fortune comes out in this reading now uh, this is positive because um, this is how the channels the guides and the universe work because um, there can be a shift of consciousness between 24 hours and this is why I say to people people who reads always should say that things can shift it depends on people um, the way people align and if the shift of the consciousness consciousness of the Capricorns are here because um, you guys had the herm the the eye princess and the tower energy in October is removing something and by removing something your luck is going to be coming in so this is good for you Capricorn so um, really really positive um, for you Capricorn so the wheel of fortune comes up in your your energy vibration and this is so powerful because something is going to be released out of your life and now begin success fortune destiny coming in in the month of October really brilliant beautiful reading now energy of the Emperor is here in November and uh, um, November has the energy of the ego um, the people with the ego base and it has to do with work um, this is good because there is going to be success coming at work but you're going to be learning to balance out uh, um, the energies at your work um, with the successful um, situation and successful beginning so this is good and this is positive because what this is going to be doing it is going to be giving you success success is going to be coming in for you Capricorns but in a very positive way okay in an extremely positive way because you're able to balance out in the month of June certain aspect of yourself and now success is coming in even though they're ego based people you're still being very successful and this is good now the second um, changes that came in for you guys was this bonus card now this bonus card is a surprise for the universe and it's a gift for the universe uh, only three signs of received this until now okay now this is a beautiful sign because this bonus energy is the being just being this is where you connect with the oneness you connect with yourself and the universe and everything around you this is a lock card um, you know being confronted with the wheel of fortune a lot of you Capricorns are going to get very lucky in this year and in the month of December the hermit still comes back as the old reading so you have both of this so the hermit um, is the energy of your spirit guides the masculine aspect of the spirit guide so what is good to do in this year is to balance the masculine and feminine aspect of yourself because this is going to be aligning you in really really positive energies because you're going to be understanding that you are about to, to change the cycle and frequency of who you are in um, December 2019 so this is this is extremely extremely wonderful for you guys because the situation for you is that you're going to be learning to balance the masculine and feminine but also balancing the materialistic work world and the spiritual world so this is going to be good this is going to be positive 
this is going to be aligning in positive energies so there you have a very lucky card and the hermit is also bringing you this luck okay now the energy from the eye princess is that she chooses to give you luck instead of being in there um, opening you up to secrets and this is so wonderful and, and positive because she gives up her place by the Capricorns to bring you luck and this is very good um, I was amazed because um, I had a conversation with someone I, ha I went out to dinner I had a conversation with someone and then I returned home and I started doing the readings in the night now whatever the situation was with that person obviously I wasn't supposed to um, obviously I wasn't supposed to do the readings and so um, what happened is that because um, I do um, I did the reading and it was as if because of the energy around the person um, that I was um, carrying they wanted me to redo the reading which is um, you know that is the way um, my guides and angels work that is that is how they align themselves with because I um, channel so um, I was and then when I saw that I was like it was three o'clock I had to go to bed and I was like all right so if I had to do it over I have to do it over but I always pledge myself not to do over a reading now what is so beautiful about doing over this reading is that um, and I never like clip anything out I just do my reading and then I make it in a video because whatever the message is that is coming out at the time that you're doing a reading like some people said yeah the reading wasn't good so I didn't you know upload it and that sort of a thing I don't do anything to the reading except I bounce it I make my flim and then I set it on YouTube because whatever is supposed to come out that is the message that is supposed to come out now by returning and asking the angels and guides what it is that is missing what is is that should be um, changed your outcomes is the energy of justice okay now the first reading was your outcomes the energy of the hangman and if you notice justice is be before the hangman so what I wanted to say to you Capricorns is that not only that the eye princess gave up her position to give you Capricorn some luck justice is the energy vibration for you guys in the year 2019 and I did um, in the beginning um, this justice came up also and when I was looking at it and I did the reading last night it was the energy of the hangman and I was like okay so it's the energy of the year so here it is you Capricorn are going to be receiving justice in this year justice over a situation to do with an organization and someone that was playing po um, power um, uh, some of you justice over our organization a deceptive situation and some of you justice over someone that was using their power over you okay so um, this is good <clears throat> so people who had conflicts with companies organization or that sort of a thing justice is coming in for you guys and it's just going to be powerful because you're going to be overcoming this and this is going to be good wonderful now and this is why I never question my guides and angels whenever um, they basically, um, um, you know, want to change something. I never question them because it's the reason why it has to be um, changed, um, and 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 it is good. It's a reason why it has to be changed. And if it's good, it's for a good um, transition. So, as we recap the year. The year 2019 is the year of the devil. The um, year is the hangman and uh, um, the continuation of the things that is going to be happening in the year. It is the energy of ego based people. Now, for you guys, it is a year that you have justice coming out, justice over um, imbalanced stuff, justice over. Um, 
people who, who overuse their step of power against you or if you are the one who did it justice is coming in but I'm saying that it is you Capricorns have gone through so much and now finally there is a balance in this year so the year 2019 for you Capricorns is going to be the year of um, justice where there is balance coming up okay where there is balance coming up okay now the strangest thing is that 11 in most card deck is justice and in this card deck it is the number eight so some of you and this is a duality here for you guys because 11 is duality okay 11 is the portal 11 is the shift of consciousness where the dimension shifts are happening most of you Capricorns are going to be having these dimension shift because you're an earth sign and you vibrate with the energy of the hurt okay so what is transpiring here is that some of you are going to be having inner strength which is going to be moving you forward um, this inner strength comes up also with a surprising help help you're going to be receiving help and some of you are going to be dealing with unjust things being balanced in your life and both cards just came up behind and this is just so wonderful and so positive positive. and now I understand is that because um, my readings whenever I'm doing a reading if I'm upset or if there's something that is affecting myself or my life I don't do the reading I always like relax and let it go but last night I went out to dinner with someone and then I came home and I start doing the readings and it was not um, whatever and whoever the person is obviously there was an energy vibration that I picked up by the person the cards remain the same except the eye princess gave up her um, position in the month of October and, and, and gave you um, the wheel of fortune which is so beautiful very beautiful um, you Capricorns Wow and not uh, and because for all the readings I do never ever have this okay and it just never recorded I was like excuse me and it was a beautiful reading because I was laughing and and I guess it was the ego of um, I'm be laughing at something in the reading about the cancer man and <laughs> the, the angels or my guides were like that's not what we want to give <laughs> so you got to do it over so anyway all right same energies comes up um, animal um, spirit guide same energy comes up um, the lamb peacefulness profit um, um, prophecy and patience so you guys have the 3p in um, the first six months of the year 2019 you have the three P's they're peaceful prophecy patient the lamb is the bearer of an um, important message it contains can only be heard when a deep level of quietness has been established lamb energy is the honesty the guidance you hear from an old friend a young child or sometimes a surprising stranger through the lamb message make channels through not only for yourself but for others the wisdom resonates within you it will repeat and reverse um, until you listen approach this gently creature with utmost patience and reveal truth is a gift sit still listen and receive when in a balance knowingness in a peace when out of balance quiet timid concern to be able to balance this you need to meditate and listen in the first six months of the year so this is going to be wonderful for you guys the same spirit guides energy and the lamb the lamb is basically a very peaceful animal now what I love it was the Phoenix this is an uh, a special this is one of the special um, animal spirit guides this is the Phoenix raising from the ashes um, it's um, it's not a air sign or this is the sign of the spirit okay this is the sign of the spirit um, you have air sign animals earth sign animals all the 
fire sign animals but this energy of the Phoenix this is the Omega bringing healing okay this is the Omega bringing healing so the Phoenix is freedom from suffering and past karma recarnation okay so you're going to be recording to yourself the Phoenix represent the transformation of our past it doesn't means running from it and denying it it's mean burning bridge with rage the Phoenix employs an advanced techniques describe it in yoga as the burning of the in-person true practice and the septum and tapas the special of the Phoenix is with us when we realize we have been suffering too long and something must change we take a stand and decide to live consciously instead of being driven by the unconscious mind and it's too long and the long list of fears and advance at the very moment the spark of the Phoenix is listed and the great bird help us to burn through our baggages we no longer run from who we are when we have happened to us or what we have done the stuckness and the dead weight fall into the ashes and the lightness and um, clarity emerge as the struggles continue to surround the Phoenix lift our spirit up and up and we begin to recognize ourselves okay ladies and gentlemen I love this year <laughs> I love this year okay um, ladies and gentlemen I'm wishing you a wonderful powerful year I love you guys please um, cross watch likes and share and I'm um, I will speak to you in the new year happy new year okay ladies and gentlemen let's go let's see what's coming up for you guys Oh, gotta have my coffee. Okay, so for some of you, the almond birds, extra uh, spirit guides is going to be coming in. The almond birds is very wonderful. The almond birds bring messages, wonderful messages. I love the almond bird. That's an air message. So a lot of you Capricorns are going to be speaking up about things, situations, okay? A lot of Capricorns is gonna be speaking up in this year. A lot of Capricorns is going to take their reign, really, really take their reign on um, the transition. A lot of Capricorns are going to be taking their reign on the transition of uh, um, what is going to be coming up. Okay, so this is, this is very, um, wonderful because the almond bird is the air sign I love the energy of the almond bird because it's very small but it sings beautifully okay so you guys got this bonus card it was just staring out the hum the nightingale this is um, fearless voice speech communication or songs okay so this is what I'm saying a lot of Capricorns is going to start speaking up in this year the song of the nightingale is the otherworldly. This simply um, brown bird is almost on, on, unnoticeable amongst the flashing pumps of other birds. Transition, it's lesson to the rims of property in the nightingale. The energy is with us when we write, compose, and especially when we sing. It reminds us that the music heals the deeper wound. The cards indicate a need. Thank you.